a beautiful day at JetBlue Park. I'm Jason Mastronato, Boston Herald Red Sox beat reporter here uh, under the sunny skies. And we got to watch David Ortiz play a lot of first base today, which is uh, always fun. He's actually much better at the position than a lot of people think. Has a real strong throwing arm and can still move around some. So we asked John Farrell about Ortiz playing first base. We'll get some action to first because with our opening series, you know, we don't want to not cover that and and limit his availability to us. So, you know, with three games in Philly in the National League, you know, th there's going to be some time at first base. Also today, we saw Koji Uhara throwing some pitches uh, through live batting practice, but before he even got out there, he was playing catch, and a lot of the new guys in camp just marveling over his split-finger fastball and how much movement it has. Uh, already so early in camp here, we're March 2nd, and to see Koji throwing live batting practice and looking so good is really encouraging for Red Sox manager John Farrell. You know, the ball's getting out of his hand well. The same life to, to an action to his pitches in the strike zone are there. So we've, we've pitched him a lot the last couple of years, but uh, he's, he looks fresh and ready to go. Also today we talked about Brandon Workman, who's making the transition from starting pitcher to relief pitcher with a fastball that was only about 91, 92 miles an hour out of the rotation last year. They thought they could really get some more power out of him by putting him in the bullpen, and, and that's what Farrell said. He's, he's looking to get uh, one inning, high velocity, high power, and they love his mentality, so they're actually talking about possibly using him in late inning uh, situations, important situations with the game on the line. I just got kind of out of um, out of rhythm, out of, um, out of whack mechanically on the mound, and it, um, you know, it showed my performance. I wasn't able to consistently execute the pitches I need to to be successful. And we couldn't leave you today without talking about Kurt Schilling and uh, his unfortunate interactions on Twitter when yesterday he announced that his daughter Gabby would be attending college. He received some uh, pretty vulgar backlash from, from followers and, and different people on Twitter. And Schilling took to his blog to, to write about it and was really offended by it. There's been a lot of conversation going on uh, about how Schilling handled the situation. And the Red Sox have their own Twitter policy because they, they hate to, to see this happen with one of their, their players. And they tell all their players, if it's not something that you would say out loud in public, don't write it on Twitter. Uh, it's been a, a pretty big vocal point for them as they, they want to keep their players uh, from getting into any harm on social media. So that's it for today. I'm Jason Mastronato from the Boston Herald, and thanks for stopping by.